Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is my spring TBR. So, if you have been following my channel for a while, you know last year I did monthly TBRs, but this year I'm actually doing just seasonal TBRs. These are books that are the seasonally aesthetic books that I want to get to in the next three months, um, but without setting a specific TBR every month so that I don't feel overwhelmed or I am a mood reader so I just kind of like picking up whatever I feel like and is available etc and so forth. So I've picked out quite a few books for the spring season that I want to read as it is March. So I believe it's spring, even if the weather says something else. Looking at you, snowstorm. I'm still gonna pretend it's spring, and so I'm going to share with you my spring TBR and start getting into the springy books. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is This Poison Heart. This is a secret garden retelling. Our main character is a black, queer, girl who is raised by her two mothers and she was adopted and she learns that she has this power with nature. All the plants around her mysteriously grow and kind of gravitate towards her. It's really weird and I mean her parents have a botanical shop so it's nice but at the same time it's always very risky. Then she learns that she has this mysterious family member connected to her birth mom that has left her this huge estate with this large garden. But there are lots of secrets and mysteries surrounding this. And I believe there are multiple books following this. I don't know if it's a duology, trilogy, series, or something, but the strong nature magic is why it seems very springy to me and why I really want to read it this coming season. The second book is The Prison Healer, and this is a book that I've heard people talk about and has captured my eye since it came out. And so there are some flowers on the cover of this book, which is why I think it seems very spring. Plus, it just seems like a fun uh, start to a fantasy trilogy. Here we go, starting more series again, but uh, The Prison Healer follows this girl who works as a prison healer. She has been helping inmates survive and healing them and whatnot, but then all of a sudden they capture the rebel queen, like the big, the rebel queen. And so she has to go through one of the most deadly trials that they have for criminals and the prison healer's task is to keep her alive. And it's like trial of air, water, fire, and earth I think. So very elemental which again seems very like plant and earthy to me. So I'm excited to give this one a try. Next up we have a magic steeped in poison. I am so excited because this is like a tea based fantasy. Our main character brewed this um, poisonous tea that accidentally took her mother's life and could potentially take her sister's life but then like the imperial emperor or whomever is having this competition of like a traditional tea making and so she goes to compete and you know mysteries and deadliness and I just love the creativity of magic in tea. I've always loved when tea has significance in stories and it's again it feels like a very spring thing to me because a the cover has lots of bright colors on it and b because tea seems like a very like earthy natural drink. I tend to drink a lot more tea in the fall and in the spring kind of when weather is changing. Uh, not so much in summer and winter although sometimes in summer. I drink hot tea all year round, but it significantly increases in spring and fall. So <laughs> I felt like this would be a perfect book to read during the spring season. Moving on, I have a couple graphic novels that I am including on this list, such as The Sprite and The Gardener. This is a graphic novel where you're following this sprite and how things used to be is that sprites used to garden a lot and like really took care of 
nature, but that's not how it is anymore. The sprites don't really tend to gardens. I think humans just do that and it's kind of boring. But then you've got one little sprite who wants to learn about the past and figure out her gardening abilities. So I, it just seems adorable and it's a graphic novel, so perfect. And then the other graphic novel is The Moth Keeper by Kay O'Neill. This just seems adorable. I loved Kay O'Neill's other books, The Tea Dragon Society. I loved reading those. And so The Moth Keeper follows this girl who finally has become the one of the moth keepers. It's this great honor. She's excited to prove herself. But that's a lot of like lonely nights of just watching over the moth so that they can take care of like the special flower or something like that. So she decides to see what it would be like if she stayed up and like saw the sun. And then that causes consequences. And like I said, it's another graphic novel, so it'll be a good one to just fly through and I'm really excited. Then I would love to read a book called Half a Soul. This book was popular I think last spring and it seems very like Victorian romance ish I don't know it just felt very light and I think it has some beautiful lyrical writing and I just I know every time I read the description I'm like oh yeah I definitely want to read that and it seems like a perfect spring book you know light fluffy but more to it than just a light and fluffy book and then every time I want to talk about it I'm just I have no idea yeah so hopefully I get to that this season and then I have Four more books, and these are books that I actually own for once. Um, so I have Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I don't know if this is another Secret Garden retelling or if it just gives me a lot of Secret Garden vibes, um, but you have your main character who thinks she's an orphan and is uh, being raised at kind of like this orphanage home type situation. And then all of a sudden an uncle reaches out and is like, hey, you're my family, we wanna bring you home and have you live in our giant house with a big garden. So she goes home and she realizes that things aren't always what they seem and that there is a lot of mystery and possibly a portal fantasy with like a dark underworld. I don't really know, but it seems like a dark spring kind of book. Uh, and I think, and I think for some reason I do want to have a, a dark kind of fantasy book in here but again there's there's like a garden or something so plus I just love this cover I think this is a gorgeous cover then I have a book that I actually started reading that I really want to finish and I think it's great to finish it in spring and that is Daughter of the Moon Goddess and this is by Sulin Tan this is the first in a duology and the second book is out it is based off of Chinese mythology you have the daughter of Chang'e, who is like the moon goddess. She's been trapped there. And so her daughter tries to find a way to free her mother. So she leaves the moon and she goes to be a part of this competition um, in order to study with the imperial prince and etc. and so forth. Continue on. I think if you like Spin the Dawn, you'll probably like this. It gives me very similar vibes. But yeah, like I am, I'm pretty close to finishing this. But just with the beautiful cover and the flowers and like the light, it's it's very rich in mythology. Like it is a strong retelling, but the story itself just seems light and lyrical, which makes me think that this is a great spring vibe book. So hopefully I will be finishing this one this season. And then I have a new release that everyone has been going crazy for. And that is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. This follows our main character. Also, this is part of a series. So cool. Um, our main character is Emily Wilde and she is traveling to this uh, like very Nordic kind of Northern European country to study the Fae and especially like the courtly Fae, the like humanoid ones, but any and all fae that they have there because she is writing an encyclopedia. She is learning anything and everything she possibly can about all types of fae in order to make an encyclopedia. So the cover seems beautiful. I am obsessed with this cover. And again, plants, nature, fae, magic, spring, even though I'm sure there's going to be plenty of snow, I think this will be perfect for literally right now where I think it's spring, but we are 
starting to have a snowstorm so I think this will be absolutely perfect to pick up right now and I think I'm just gonna fly through it and for some reason I have like really high hopes and expectations for the writing style I think it's just gonna be beautiful so the final book on this list is actually my current read and I just could not wait to start this I got the audiobook from the library and I own it physically and I was like this is happening right now that is the dragon's promise by elizabeth Lim. so this is the second book in her six crimson cranes duology and uh, it took me so long to read this because i prefer the uk covers i love the light pastel colors of it i think it's just significantly better than the us covers in my personal opinion but that's just because like i said i love a pastel cover the other covers are very bold colorful but this I feel is just elegant and beautiful so it took me a while to order this but now it's here and I am so happy so I loved Six Crimson Cranes I also have it in the UK cover again it's another uh, like Chinese mythology retelling I love Elizabeth Lim's writing I've enjoyed her other duology and I feel like her mythology writing is really good for the springtime as well so I am about halfway through this, maybe almost halfway through this. So, and again, flowers on the cover. It just feels spring. It truly does. And that's, I'm like, when I create my seasonal TBRs, it's purely off of the like aesthetics and vibe. There we go. <laughs> Those are all the books on my spring TBR. So in the next three months, hopefully I'll read all of these, if not many of them. At the very least hopefully the ones that I own because I'm trying to get through my physical TBR as a lot of us are I'm sure but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up feel free to subscribe as I post bookish content Sundays and Wednesdays hopefully <laughs> that's my aim but at least twice a week so make sure you hit the bell to be notified when I do upload a new video I also have bookish social media link down below that you can follow me there and keep up to keep up to date with what i am reading and what i'm thinking of it but yeah otherwise comment down below how do you do your tbrs are you like a monthly tbr person a seasonal tbr person do you just not do tbrs at all then how do you choose your books are you moody and just whatever you see next that you want to read or do you like to go off of aesthetics and vibes <laughs> like me comment down below i would love to hear from you but that should be everything. So until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.